Today on BRS TV Investigates, it's ultra low phosphorus versus phosphate. Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of BRS TV Investigates, a weekly YouTube series which explores popular reefing theories, products, methods, and what the manuals are missing with a focus on putting them to the test. Then rate the theory based on our scale of reef fantasy to reef certainty. This week we're answering the question, is the Hanna Ultra Low Range Phosphorus Checker more accurate at low ranges than the Low Range Phosphate Meter? Many reefers argue that the Phosphorus Checker is a better option for those reefers who are looking to maintain ultra low nutrients right at the cusp of zero. Today we not only discuss why that might be, but we'll also put that assumption to the test with some standards testing on each meter. This is important because many reefers are attempting to maintain ultra-low phosphate to increase coral calcification or growth and prevent or fight algae outbreaks. However, ultra-low almost always means harder to test for and with phosphate that's certainly true. Particularly with test kits because most people find the shades of blue impossible to read confidently. End of the day, the human eye is a fairly poor measurement tool and likely why digital checkers have become so popular for phosphate. Before we get too far into this, I think there's one important factor to consider. While well, all of us reefers would absolutely like lab quality accuracy and have our $15 test kits perform like $200 lab grade kits, or our $50 colorometers perform like $1,500 meters, that's just an unrealistic expectation in many cases. Both because the quality of the components, reagents, and methods are different between the two different price points, but also to achieve lab level accuracy, you also need to follow lab quality procedures, which I'd wager a vast majority of reefers are not following. Meaning vials are perfectly clean, often cleaned with acid between uses. 100% of the reagent is used for each test. Test samples are measured perfectly. If the test says shake for 60 seconds, it doesn't mean for what feels like 60 seconds. It means set a timer and shake it for exactly 60 seconds. Well, paying attention to shaking the same way each time you perform the test. Reading the test under the same lighting. And of course, with tests like the Hanna Checkers, the glass has to be crystal clear. The smallest fingerprint or smudge will absolutely throw off the results. That said, we're not synthesizing pharmaceuticals here, just keeping our reef tanks in a safe, consistent range. And most of these tests are really designed to get us close enough to achieve that goal without breaking the bank or requiring an unrealistic attention to detail for home use. It's more important that the results are consistent and affordable than they are accurate to the third decimal. That said, if you keep everything clean, measure perfectly, and follow the procedure exactly, most of the hobby grade test kits, including the Hanna Checkers, will get you surprisingly close. So we're going to see how close with the two HANA checkers. The HANA low range phosphate checker has an effective range of between 0 and 2.5 parts per million, which covers 90% plus of the reef tanks out there. The ultra low range phosphorus test measures in parts per billion rather than million and has a range of 0 to 200 parts per billion. However, to convert phosphorus to phosphate, you need to multiply the reading by 3.066 and then to convert that to parts per million, multiply that by 1,000. The net result of that is the effective range of detecting phosphate is a much smaller window of 0 to 0 0.6 versus the 0 to 2.5 that the phosphate checker has. To many people, that might not matter because the ultra-low nutrient system will likely never be above 0 0.6. The component of all of this that most reefers key in on and stirs the debate is the presumed degree of accuracy the meter has. The HANA low range phosphate checker has an accuracy range of plus or minus 0.04 plus 4% 4 of the reading, meaning if the meter read 0.5 parts per million phosphate in the tank, the accuracy window would be between 0.44 and 0.56. Now using the ultra low phosphorus checker, let's assume we got a reading of 163, which is the phosphorus equivalent of 0.5 parts per million phosphate. The accuracy window is plus or minus 5 parts per billion plus 5% of the reading. Net result is a reading is accurate from 0.48 to 0.54, which indeed is slightly more accurate, but not in a way that has a significant meaning to the average reefer and likely not worth pulling out a calculator and doing the conversion math. So why is it more accurate? Well, it's very likely simply because the measurable range is so much smaller. The phosphorus checker is only covering a range from 0 to 0 0.6 parts per million, where the phosphate checker range is four times as large at 0 to 2.5 parts per million. One element to also consider is most testing methods are not only less accurate at the extreme ends of their testing range, but this is also where inaccuracies in procedure and sample or reagent handling are likely to show up as well. 
This is where some of the advantages of the phosphorus checker begin to come apparent for reefers who want to measure near zero levels as accurately as possible. So let's assume a much lower phosphate level in the tank, around 0.03, which is the goal for some reefers. But that's also so close to zero, it positions the reading at the extreme end of both meters measuring range. In this case, the accuracy range of plus or minus 0.04 plus 4% 4 of the reading would mean the phosphate accuracy window would be somewhere in the range between 0 and 0 0.07, which is likely a larger window than some reefers might like. Particularly if you have 0.03 parts per million phosphate in the water and the meter is reading zero. Now with the ultra-low phosphorus checker, a 0.03 parts per million would show up as close to 10 parts per billion. Once we apply the accuracy expectations of the plus or minus 5 parts per billion plus 5% of the reading, we end up with an accuracy range of 0.016 to 0.047. This is less than half the range of the phosphate checker. So if your measurement goals are tied to achieving these near zero ranges, the ultra low checker is likely a better option as long as you're okay with applying some math to the results you get from the checker. For those reefers who maintain moderate phosphate levels in their system, the phosphate checker is likely going to produce usable results without the math requirement. So all that said, that's based on the specs and data sheets that we're going to put to the test today. Standard solutions of phosphate are pretty easy to create. You can even pick them up on our site. We're going to create a standard solution at five different points, ranging from 0.3 to 0.15 to 0.08, 0.04, and then near zero at 0.02. And then test them with our internal tool, the Hawk DR900, versus the HANA Low Range Phosphate Checker, as well as the HANA Ultra Low Range Phosphorus Checker. My expectation here is all of them will read the higher ranges fairly accurately, but it will get progressively more difficult to read the standards accurately the closer we get to the extreme end of the measurement spectrum, or zero. So let's get started. Our first test was with a phosphate standard solution of 0.3. The Hawk DR900 measured a 0.29, which is extremely close. The HANA phosphate checker is 0.26, which was right on the edge of its accuracy range. And the ultra low range phosphate checker gave us a 92 parts per billion, which converts to a 0.28 parts per million phosphate and very close to the 0.30 reference solution. So at 0.3 phosphate, all of the meters were accurate enough for our purposes. Testing a standard of a much lower 0.15, the Hawk Red 0.16, Hanna Phosphate 0.12, and the Hanna Phosphorus 48, which converted to a 0.147 and almost dead on, but all three acceptable. With the next standard, which now breaks into the hundredth with 0.08, the Hawk Red a dead on 0.08, the Phosphate Checker 0.04, and the Phosphorus 27 are an adjusted equivalent of 0.082, which is basically dead on as well. Moving down to the 0.04 parts per million, the Hawk read a dead on 0.04. However, the phosphate checker read a 0.00, which isn't all that surprising because most of the other readings from this checker were 0.03 to 0.04 points off as well, which is within its accuracy window. However, the HANA phosphate checker read a 10 or equivalent 0.03 and pretty darn close to the 0.04 standard we were testing. We tested one last incredibly low standard at 0.02, and the Hawk read it at 0.03. Not surprisingly, the HANA phosphate checker 0.00 again, and the phosphorus nailed it at 0.02. So the manufacturer's specs ended up being pretty accurate for both checkers, and based on our experience today, I'm going to go ahead and confirm our first 10 out of 10 reef certainty, the HANA ultra low range phosphorus checker is more accurate at ultra low range readings. A couple notes on this, it's been my experience that the accuracy window posted on the checker is somewhat about the testing method, such as we found much more accurate readings when we used a single test vial for both the blank and sample, as well as made sure the sample vial was facing the same direction for both zeroing the unit as well as the test. Easiest way to do this was to face the 10 on the vial towards us for both. I'm also not sure if in this case the reason why our readings with the phosphate checker were near the edge of its accuracy limits of plus or minus 0.04 were because we were testing at the very edge of its usable range near zero or if because the individual checkers themselves vary slightly. Based on my experience using them over time, I would say it's likely a combination of both, but it's possible that one checker could perform slightly better than another. So what does this mean to your tank in today's reefing environment? 
I'd say if your goal is ultra low nutrients, particularly phosphate under 0.03, the HANA ultra low range phosphorus checker is the best tool to confirm that. However, if you have more moderate expectations, I think a lot of reefers might prefer the phosphate checker, partially because you have a wider range of testing, but more so because you don't have to do the math after the reading. So today's poll is pretty obvious. Which one do you prefer? The phosphorus or phosphate checker or a popular test kit? As always, if you found today's video valuable, let us know with a quick thumbs up and subscribe. If you have something that you would like us to test, please let us know in the comments down below because that's what this is all about. This week we started a brand new test based on Kareen Rock and Saltwater versus bleach or acid or one after the other to reduce nutrients in new systems. Hopefully it'll wrap up in a month or two and we can share some exciting results with all of you. See you next week with another BRS TV Investigates.